All right, just a reminder, anybody at home that's watching, my name is Dave Nelson, and we are here with a Between Two Stoves interview with my two friends, uh, Dennis Sindor and Erica Vila, and they are with Renegade Dining, and we are going to be talking to them about what they're doing for Thanksgiving and what they're doing in the future and what they've been doing around town. It's going to be a fun, fun show. These guys are hardworking fellas, and you're going to see all that. We're going to get talking about that very soon, but I want to remind you, you guys can ask questions. If you got any questions, just shout out for these guys. Please throw them in the uh, live feed over there at the industry cooking community, and we will try and throw them out there to these fine, fine gentlemen here, okay? Uh, but for now, um, I wanted to kind of get into it, okay? Again, I have got Dennis Sindor, and he has been working with, uh, he put a little something together called Dining with Dennis, okay? And he's been kind of hustling with that on the side. And Erica Vila, he's put together the Renegade Kitchen. And these two put their heads together uh, to kind of lay down some bootleg kitchen action in Sacramento, just like a lot of people are doing these days. And we're going to hear their story today, okay? Um, right now, I wanted to kind of uh, mention that these guys are doing a smoked turkey for Thanksgiving. It uh, uh, sounds really, really cool. And the time for ordering is getting very, very short. So if you are interested, you're going to want to hook that up. And these two guys, I got to bring them in. And uh, we're going to find out just how you guys can order it for yourself. So um, that's, that's actually a great place to start, Dennis and Eric. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us how people can kind of get a hold of one of these smoked turkeys or some of those fine, fine sides you guys are laying down for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, so, yes, uh, again, my name is Dennis Sidnor. Um, I'm a local chef here. If you're looking for a turkey, you can uh, inbox myself um, on Dennis Sidnor or um, on Facebook, or you can uh, tap into uh, Eric Avila also on Facebook. Uh, we're on uh, Instagram, Dining with Dennis uh, or Renegade Kitchen. Um, so you can find us on either, either platform. Um, we will also uh, give out our cell phone numbers. We're, uh, however you got to reach us, you can reach us, but the, true, the, the time, uh, the window is kind of closing. Uh, so if you're really interested in getting a turkey done, you know, please order by today, uh, just so we have the opportunity to brine it and um, handle it properly. And then I'll let Chef Eric talk about the sides that we're going to run with that. Uh, yeah, 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 that's uh, what I want okay. to hear about. Eric Avila. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, baked mac and cheese. Uh, really nice sourdough stuffing with chorizo and Italian sausage, uh, roasted Brussels sprouts. Uh, we're going to be doing house made uh, Parker house rolls. Um, shit, what else we got? We're doing um, a green bean casserole. Oh, yeah. Gr yeah, green bean casserole <laughs> with uh, uh, truff uh, truffle mushroom uh, cream. Yes, sir. Yeah, just, you know, all, all the fixings, all the, the typical stuff that, that, that we like to eat. You know, mm. oh, mashed potatoes and gravy, of course. Mm. <laughs> I was gonna say I was kind of waiting for that one to come out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so how's this work? Okay, so they order it online on, on Facebook. Just instant, I am you guys order yeah. it up, and then do they come pick it up or or what? How do they get a hold of this? It's pretty much what what's convenient for for us and them. Uh, yeah. If they want to pick it up, they can pick it up. We'll we'll be here, pretty much cooking nonstop for the next two days. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow's the the start of the smoke, and then. Wednesday all day uh, preparing for for Thanksgiving dinner. So yeah, um, we'll we'll work pretty much. You just start a dialogue with us, and and we'll work it out with you. Yeah, pickup or delivery. Um, either are available. Um, we we you know we're looking to have all deliveries done uh, Thursday morning. Uh, so you know just just to reach out to us, let us know what it is that you're looking to do, and uh, as as Eric said, we'll facilitate whatever it is that's most convenient for you. It sounds like you guys are being absolutely accommodating and, and just kind of making it work with, with whatever people want to want to call about. That sounds awesome. And Excellent. very good to know that, that deliveries are happening Thursday morning if people are interested in this. So they, Wednesday, they, Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday evening, Wednesday, well, well, Wednesday, Wednesday evening, Thursday morning. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely, uh, you know, discuss that with the clients uh, on a case by case basis. But um, for the most part, some of the things are definitely going to be like a Thursday morning kind of thing. Um, uh, but uh, we'll have a uh, majority of things available Wednesday evening. Uh, maybe, maybe not for smoked turkeys, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. But we also might, you know, for some people like to do friendsgivings and whatnot after Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Uh, if you want to, if you want to call us about that, we'll definitely, we definitely can have a conversation about doing something after Thanksgiving if you're having your your Thanksgiving celebration after after the date. Right. So for the so, industry so guys. 
Yeah. We could re-emphasize yeah. that. The cutoff time for those turkeys is going to be tonight, right? So uh, yes. what, yeah. 8 o'clock or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to have those in by 8, no later than 9. Um, but 8 o'clock, we're pushing for to cut off the uh, orders for the uh, turkeys. And if yeah. people aren't getting a turkey, but they just want to um, snatch up a bunch of sides, when, when, when's the cutoff for all of that stuff? Tuesday. Yep. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Okay, yeah. cool, man. Um, so um, now that we got that out of the way, the big yeah. info commercial, right? Um, right, right, right. So tell, tell all the nice people at home, like uh, a little bit about yourselves and what you guys were doing uh, before COVID hit and uh, what you've been working and all. Well, before, yeah. yeah, before COVID hit, I was, I was working at Grains. Um, you know, actually, I've been trying to get in there for a while. I was like, I had a dream schedule. It was like, it was perfect. <laughs> Everything you have was the Monday through Friday or something? <laughs> I was, yeah, man, yeah. yeah, literally I was doing like, uh, I was doing Sunday through Thursday with Fridays and Saturdays off from, nice. from, one, from 1 to 9.30. Oh, Prince, yeah. Prince, princess shifts. Right, 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 right. <laughs> That's a good word. I'm going to use that one. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, how about you, Dennis? Where, where were you bopping around town? Where have we heard of, of you around town? Uh, so sheesh around town. Most recently I was at Rudy's hideaway, man. Just literally just kind of hiding away, uh, uh, <laughs> working the line. I, I just had a, a small children. And so, uh, I wanted to spend more time at home. So I just kind of stepped away from the management for a little while. I was just line cooking. I had a cherry schedule as well. I was only working like four days a week and <laughs> I didn't have to worry about inventory or payroll or, uh, scheduling. I worked my station, cleaned up, went home. It was gravy. But then, um, you know, and then just segueing right into what happened with COVID, um, you know, it just really um, put a spin on things. We we actually previously, oh, I right. mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. me and Dennis worked together at the the Marriott for for quite a while. Yeah, in Rancho. So Rancho, the Rancho, Rancho. Rancho. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, me and him, we've always thought talked about collaborating and whatnot. We actually had a pop up scheduled. Mm -hmm. For, that was going to be May 16th at Elixir at Elixir and then March and, comes around and <laughs> yeah. it was like well we're not going to promote that you know I'm like, <laughs> not going to promote a COVID fest you know so uh yeah and then and then like 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 Chef Eric said man you know we we uh we actually uh met in culinary school um and for those that don't know Chef Dave Nelson was my instructor my second instructor in culinary school <laughs> Um, and, uh, Eric was going to the 10 a.m. class. Nope. I was going to 6 a.m. class. The only time I had class with you was one time I had to pick up a class yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, oh, yeah. in the morning because yeah. he was in the morning class. Right. I had the 10 a.m. class. Yeah. So we went to culinary school at the same time. Just different we schedules. didn't, didn't different schedules. We didn't really, we knew who each other were, but we yeah. didn't like know each other. Yeah. So we were, we were, we were social media buddies for the longest and then linked up you know i hit him up like hey you guys got anything going on out there and he was like absolutely so uh we <laughs> linked you, up you gotta tell that story because nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we we were being so our me and chef t uh of chef t's kitchen chef call, t's, yeah. shout out shout out chef t we had been having the damnest time getting another sous chef and we had interviewed like three or four people we finally got a guy that we weren't really we weren't really sold on but we needed a body Right. So yeah. like we we went to HR, we talked to HR, we like pretty much finalized that we're gonna they're gonna call this guy and they're gonna give him the job. So we're walking down the hallway back to the kitchen, me and Chef T, and Dennis texts me, like, do you have do you have anything going on? And like literally, we like run back. Stop, 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 stop. Don't call him, don't call him. We got somebody, we got somebody. Yeah. And he like literally came in that night or like the next very next morning. Mm -hmm. And talk to us, and uh, yeah, and that, and that was a wrap from there. Yeah. The poor dude. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, it's <laughs> right after you know, it happens, man. I mean, you know, you're, you're yes. not, you don't have it until you have it. Until you got the ink, the deal ink, man. I don't celebrate. I don't celebrate the possibilities, man. I celebrate the actual accomplishments. You know, I I, I pray for the possibilities, but I celebrate those accomplishments for sure, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys were, you know, kind of social media friends, and then you worked together and everything. And, you know, you had your gigs, you had your sweet princess gigs, like you were saying, and then COVID came along and you hit a brick wall, and you guys kind of diverged, right? You went and did your own thing. Um, can you kind of tell us about that? Yeah, so um, I actually started doing um, Parker House roles, a variation of them. Um, it was a near and dear recipe to my heart. My father used to make them around the holidays for the family. And then 
um, they were really good and it was a celebrated thing. And then he passed away and I was like, I'm not making those joints. But then um, I was like, man, he will want me to, right? So I rolled those out. Um, and, and then at the same time, Eric was launching his um, family, uh, family style, style dinners. dinners. And then I went into the intimate dining dinners. And so I took off to Atlanta for like five months to go, you know, just do some Southern research, went to a couple of states in the South and just kind of like gained like 25 pounds real fast. And, you know, <laughs> came back and uh, was like, you know, we, we linked back up. And, and so um, uh, we decided to launch this Renegade Dining. So Eric, yours was called Renegade Kitchen, right? Yes, yes, it was. And then Dennis was called Dining with Dennis. And you guys, I mean, I was seeing you out there on the social media and everything you're working at. And uh, um, I remember the Parker House rolls, for instance. Yeah, man. Right? And so, um, so yeah, you guys kind of came together and and decided to do this. Now, now you guys, everybody's different, right? So, like, what are some of the strengths each one of you guys bring to the table for Renegade Dining? How does it all come together? I think it's, I mean, we talk about all the time this partnership. Just like, it just happened naturally. It's never, it's never been forced. Like. We've worked in like super intense situations together where we never we never have problems. We've always we're always pretty much on the same page, and uh, you know what he's good at, I'm not necessarily good at, and what I'm good at, he's not necessarily good at. But we feed and learn off of each other too. I mean, it's it's like mm. it's like Voltron, you know. Right. <laughs> you, you put the pieces together, and then and then all of a sudden you're you're a monster. Yeah, so I mean, you know, Chef Eric. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We gonna say Chef? Nothing. I was just gonna oh. joke off. <laughs> I'm oh, just yeah. gonna say something stupid. Yeah, yeah, like we always do, right? So, so, but you know, Chef, Chef Eric, man, is he has one of the best plate presentations, um, you know, around, man. I mean, you know, I, I would, I would put him right up there with the best of them. Um, and then, you know, working under Chef Santana Diaz at the arena, man, I, I had to dig into the computer, man. I had to dig into uh, spreadsheets, and uh, you know, um, he would, you know, he wanted to punch me in the face a lot of times for, uh, for, for missing items, man. But I really, I learned a lot from that guy as far as the uh, organization of, um, you know, just sitting down at the desk. And so, um, you know, we, 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 we bounce, you know, like I, I have the Southern roots and, and, you know, as far as the, the background in food um, and, and barbecue and, and, and he's had an, an ex 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 extensive um, Asian and Hispanic um, um, influences. So, man, we kind of um, were kicking around the idea of uh, like a Southern Asian fusion um, was what we were going to do at the Elixir. I mean, you know, like char siu barbecued ribs and, you know, kimchi yeah. tater tots and, you know what I mean? Just like, just <laughs> like crazy yeah. stuff, man, you know? And so, um, you know, the strengths definitely present themselves like in the kitchen and in and the areas of opportunity present themselves also in the kitchen. But we're, we're able to, you know, just play upon. And then we have a team. It's like the hustle on 110, right? Like I was kind of saying before, right? It's like you give 100%, but then tap into your network. You know what I mean? Like, do, don't don't think you have to do it all alone. You know, like give everything you have a little extra and then tap in to the people that are surrounded you, that surrounding you that that have the strengths, you know? Like I'm, maybe I'm not the best bean counter. I'll bring somebody in that does. That's what they love to do is count beans, right? So um, we just, you know, that's that's what it's all about, man. It's just, um, just, just killing the ego, staying hungry, staying humble, and just Absolutely. trying to bang out great food and and keep the doors open. Wow, that is gold, guys. I I, I think that's uh, that's a nice quote right there. That is solid gold, right? Do you guys feel like? Uh, um, or I'll just say, I would think that you guys can appeal to a wider audience putting your two your two cells together and, and really being Absolutely. able to kind of network even further out. Right. Yeah. I Absolutely. mean, we, we joke, we joke all the time that <laughs> between the two of us, we know like 90% of the city, you know, like <laughs> we both have lived here almost our entire lives. You know, um, I've been here since I was five years old <laughs> in Sacramento. We've both been around, definitely know all the same people in the industry and stuff. So yeah, we just want to, you know, spread the word, spread out, include, include other people as well you know like yeah. we're, we're all about we're all about partnerships you know a lot of um a lot of the reason that i that i was like going hard on doing this when dennis came back was because of like jd sneed mm -hmm. you know formerly initially mini, minivan uh, look yeah. for 42 long time friend of the show and, oh yeah uh, yeah 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 and jeremy <laughs> katz because yeah. like we all kind of were doing the same thing yeah at the same time and they they were encouraging me to to even do more than what I was doing because I was kind of 
I was kind of a part-timer. I was, you know, I'd do it just on the weekends and just cause uh, <laughs> my, since the restaurants were closed and stuff, my brother and his fiance were like, Hey, we'll pay you. You make us dinner right every weekend and and then my mom and my dad picked up on that and then i was like well if i'm gonna do it for them i'll advertise on facebook and see if anybody else is like all of a sudden i'm doing like 10 12 15 family dinners on on for fridays and saturdays and you know just just kind of went from there and then when dennis came back and we were like let's just do this every day <laughs> just and, it sounds like that, it, just, it was just going. inertia it was just inertia that took a hold yeah. of you, you know, people kind of forcing you in that direction. And it just, it absolutely. Just That's absolutely. Awesome. So, so when you guys were getting started with your separate deals, I mean, what are some challenges? I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get where you guys are. I mean, what are some things they should kind of think about? Um, definitely um, your space, <laughs> um, you know, organizing your, your space, um, having hands, you know, you can't do it all alone. Uh, you know, you can do so much alone, but I think you go, you know, you definitely go stronger together, right? So individually, you're going to do so much, but together you can do a lot. So um, partner with somebody, you know, that can uh, compliment you, but, um, you know, delivery is one of the issues you run into trying to like prep and clean and deliver. And, you know, so um, some of the things I ran into. I mean, my, my biggest thing, I mean, one of the reasons I kept it kind of part-time is because I couldn't really go any bigger than what I was doing. Like, you know, I got, I have two fridges at my house, luckily, but like, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't have a huge kitchen. I don't have huge amounts of space. I have lots of equipment, but like either way I was getting every weekend, I was getting to a point where I'm literally turning away money, which you never want to do. Right. It's like closing your restaurant at, at, at eight 30 right. on a Saturday <laughs> right. when, when you could stay open and make money till 11 or 12. It was like, and that kind of, that kind of that's actually it didn't kind of it super frustrated me that I couldn't do it so like now me and Dennis are collaborating we're you know we're we're trying to find find different ways that we could uh that we can store things but I mean like you said stronger together even if even if he's taking half the prep to his house and I'm keeping half of it in my house we still can accomplish twice as much you right. know what I mean Thanks. yeah you are still figuring it all out man that's uh it's, yeah, I mean, it's a work in progress. It's no different than starting a, you know, starting a, a brick and mortar, right? Um, you know, you have a lot of moving pieces uh, that you have to bring together on a daily basis, right? And so we're fortunate enough to, that we can work together out of a, a singular space. And we're like this close to uh, a pretty, like, mm, close. like that close <laughs> to some real nice you know really really nice i mean you know we we've, we've had some 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 uh some great conversations with some some amazing people here in town and uh we're looking forward to uh you know just continuing to grow um into what can allow us to offer our offerings uh successfully consistently daily maybe awesome. maybe we'll give you the exclusive if you bring us back in a, in a yeah. month or so <laughs> better believe it, better believe it. Hey, um, uh, what about your families? I mean, are they getting uh, involved in any of this or is it, you know, is there upheaval at home because of this? Do they have to, you know, work around all the turkeys in the fridge? <laughs> yeah. Milk? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they do. <laughs> absolutely. It's a dance. So everybody's feeling it. It's that's a dance, awesome. man. Yeah. I mean, well, my, my son, my, my 13 year old son, Evan is that's, he's my dishwasher. Yeah. So, you know, I'm like, I'm br bringing home a bunch of stuff and I'm like, here, man, like, I need you to take care of all this for me. Right. Right on. <laughs> and you know, my my, my nine my nine year old daughter, whenever when I was doing like pozoles and stuff, she would package up all the accoutrements like the jalapenos and and go. limes and, and and stuff and put salsas and ramekins for to go. And so I mean, the my the kids are definitely a great help. My wife also is like, she's all she runs around and does shopping. She's actually. She's actually picking up stuff for us right now that we forgot yeah. to grab when we were at the store. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're all feeling it too. It's a family affair. Hey, old JD's out here uh, hollering at you guys too. Hey, JD, good What's to see up, you. What's up, Jay? What's going on, man? Uh, long time friend of the show. <laughs> uh, you guys were mentioning Jeremy out there too. He was on here as well. He was one of my early, early uh, <laughs> guests on there. Um, so, so we kind of mentioned that social media game. You know, you guys, I'm seeing you guys a lot. I mean. What advice do you have for people that are just starting out as far as like marketing themselves on social media? Any any tips, tricks, anything that works better than other things? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. yeah, be be active. 
try Man. to try to try to flood try to flood the timeline but respectfully right yeah <laughs> you don't want to you don't, don't, don't want to ir irritate people that you're that they're seeing your posts all the time but also you know you kind of got to kind of got to poke them in the chest with it like hey we're we're here check this out like don't keep scrolling past this right i mean you know <laughs> I, I i put it to you like you know there's a reason why companies spend you know millions and billions of dollars in advertising is because mm -hmm. it works Absolutely. it works so you know be original but i guess the what i that being said is just be who you are you know what i mean like um be who you are stay true to who you are don't try to be like anyone else on social media find your niche stay within that stay in your lane and then you know just navigate around the things that come into your lane if it's supposed to be there it'll stay there but uh, you know post uh, several times a day, um, you know, you should have a post up at least, uh, you know, in the, in the, in the early morning, in the uh, evening, you know, you want to make sure people think about you before breakfast or thinking about lunch yeah. and that lunch <laughs> or thinking about dinner. Um, you know what I mean? I really, uh, I really like the story, the story section on yeah, Facebook, oh, yeah, on yeah, Facebook yeah, and yeah. Instagram because don't that's sleep one, on that. that's one post that, you know, rolls for 24 hours that, that, you know, a lot of people are going to see. So I definitely, uh, once I discovered that, it, it definitely helped a lot with uh, yeah. getting the word out there. And, and, and it doesn't hurt to, um, you know, save up some pennies and, and actually hire someone um, to work with you um, to, you know, there's a, um, a wonderful uh, model behavior out of um, South Carolina. Um, I tapped her to um, remodel my whole Facebook and, uh, you know, it, it, it worked, my Instagram rather, it worked. It worked, you know, she did an amazing job. So, you know, find someone that you can partner with, um, you know, that can give you tips that you don't have, you know, and if you don't have the money, man, study, 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 <laughs> study, you know. Yeah. I got to say, Dennis, your uh, your advertisements do look pretty darn sweet on Instagram. Oh, man, I'm just, you know what I mean? Roll in there, doc. I roll them in there, man. I mean, so again, you know, and Eric and I, like, you know, we have a list of people who have um, been supportive of us um, individually and collectively, people that have inspired us. And, you know- um, um, Hey, let's hear their names, man. Shout them out. Well, sure. first, first, I feel like we should have got to this earlier, but, you know, Hustle on 100, uh, shout out to, to Leander Beckham. 110, who's, baby. Who's taking care of that. He's gonna be taking care of all of our, our renegade dining swag. You know, people people like shirts and stuff like that. Hoodies. So, yeah, so shirts, like shirts, hoodies. You're gonna have bucks. all kinds of merch rolling out then. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's oh, not, yeah. it's not just what we have on right now. We've got, we're going to have a bunch of stuff, you know, we want to, like Dennis said, we're kind of trying to find our niche and uh, you know, it's, it's free advertisement every time somebody puts one of these shirts on. Cause it's right. like, once it's associated with us, <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's yeah. like a walking billboard. Right. I, I saw the hoodies too. I saw those. Oh hoodies. yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. custom, custom, uh, custom ink available as well. Um, and then uh, shout out to Chef Q at 1227. He was a uh, definite mentor of mine. Uh, the Burgess brothers. Uh, again, I mentioned Santana Diaz, um, Jay Vergey, Michael Tui, John Bays, uh, the folks at Rudy's Hideaway. Uh, he shouted out Chef T's already. Taylor Drip, first and third Saturday of the month over at uh, 24th and Florin. A. Dot Franklin, the Bruce Brothers Soap, my nephew's uh, a beer yeast brewed. <laughs> so absolutely fantastic. Um, a local chef here, Lucci, um, um, Black Cherry Entertainment, made by Vivica, Blooming Daisies. Every single person who's ever purchased food or shared a post or absolutely. anything like that. Absolutely. And then you can definitely find us uh, for sure at the Elks Lodge on Stockton Boulevard for brunch December 5th. Um, that'll be uh, Renegade Dining. Like That'll be like almost our official rollout mm -hmm. um, together um will be a brunch to go brunch and um i'll put the address and the date there'll be a flyer popping up for that as well it'll and be all over uh, your instagram oh go ahead go ahead we're saying i was just gonna say it'll be all over your instagram stories oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know oh, it yeah. you know it, it. running commercial uh, like I, Geico. say uh gregory Berger. actually he took uh he yeah. took care of our he took care of my renegade kitchen logo just Man. did it on a whim for fun did he wow uh, i the other day me, when me and Dennis got the idea, we're just going to combine our, our forces and combine our logos. I sent him a message at like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night. The next morning, I had a new logo. Yeah. <laughs> like, Legit. just just like that. 
legit. He's, he's so a like, cool yeah, big, big shout out to Gregory Berger. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, uh, my boy Paul Rodriguez, El Pato Rodante. Hey. He used to be the chef at uh, at Empress Tavern, but he's doing his thing now too. Um, mm -hmm. Jennifer Millsap, the big princess out in the out in the Bay Area. Um, chef Shelby Starks from Mother's Touch. Uh, we already said JD and uh, Jeremy. You know what I mean. Uh, see uh, Louis Jimenez. You know, try oh, Mama yeah. Salsas. Absolutely. Look for look for the Brunch Boys pop up coming. Oh uh, yeah, when's that? Uh, twelve twelve. Right. Yeah, yeah. December twelfth. December twelfth. Yeah, we're doing a brunch pop up with that cat too. Yep. Yeah, yeah I got some of these guys on the show. Man, yeah, yeah, we'll send you these lists. <laughs> yeah, man. Gar 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 Garrett Jones is consistently man. good. Oh, he yeah. Jones. And 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 Uncle and Uncle Janelle Burton at Dapper Demand Hot Dog Stand also has great, great, amazing beef jerky. <laughs> Fire. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hey, you know, something I gotta I gotta ask. What's crawling out of your pot back there? <laughs> so uh, we're actually uh, while while we're over here simmering with you, we've got a uh, pot of uh, crab and lobster and shrimp and potatoes and corn and sausage getting ready to roll out of here at uh, in about an hour hour and a half. We're going to be um, doing uh, pickup and deliveries for crab boils um, that I've been advertising. We've been advertising on our pages. Um, so you know, again, when I say that we're like running you know right now like like hardcore like we're just hitting the ground mm -hmm. i mean it's it's about to get crazy oh shout out to uh Deneb williams for all the support that he's thrown our way as well yeah, um absolutely. jb's lounge and grill but yeah i mean like you know seriously we're we're hitting the ground hard so we're right here behind us we've got crab we're gonna be rolling that out uh we've got a crazy menu i, also. I wish you could smell yeah. what the smell is like behind me right now because it's, it's it's pretty <laughs> intense <laughs> All I need is a plate, some bread, <laughs> a cold beer. Um, but so, and then and then coming up um, in a um, uh, week after Thanksgiving, we're going to be rolling out our first weekly menu um, of our offerings, uh, and then uh, we'll be doing um, a weekly menu as long as with meal preps, um, family style meals. Okay. Um, and then some intimate delivery. We're we're moving away from the intimate dining. Just because of the uh, excuse me the current climate, it just it doesn't make sense to spend three hours bouncing from home to home. Uh, so you know we will have some high end delivery items available as well as um, budget friendly. Very very also, cool. Going to be starting to uh, pop up at Jackrabbit Brewing starting oh. Sunday December sixth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sunday December sixth. We'll be starting a residency every Sunday. We'll be there from one to six at uh, Jack Rabbit Brewing. So you can come down. We'll have a. Uh, <clears throat> we'll probably keep the keep that menu rotating. Yeah. Well, one thing you can count on is we're gonna we're gonna always have some some of that fire smoke smoke pork pasole. If you haven't had this <laughs> pork smoke pasole, I promise you, your life is not right. You have to try <laughs> this cat's. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely it's ridiculous. It's time to get your life right, people. Hundred yeah, percent. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Get it right. <laughs> Behind us, pull up on us, man. It'll, it'll cure COVID. This is not a guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. If, if it's not a, if we're not, if we're not in any location because of a COVID shut, we'll definitely be ready, ready to deliver it to you wherever you are. Absolutely. Well, let's, let's talk about that. Is there um. Do you have like uh, any boundaries of, of how far you gentlemen are ready to go with delivery? I mean, uh, the Sacramento area. I mean, Sacramento. Uh, yeah, we're not yeah. going out to Vacaville or something, are we? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 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 We'll go to Vacaville. We'll go to Placerville. We'll go to, yeah, you know, the Granite Bay. You know, we'll, we'll go, you know, wherever, you know. But again, you know, so I worked at the Ritz Carlton in Cleveland, man. And for two days, 16 hours of orientation, they taught us how to say no, how not to use that word. Right. You so know, what we do, what you do is, is you offer the you offer the client whatever it is that they're asking for at the appropriate price to make sure that you're covered on your end. And if they're willing to supply the 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 the, the money for the delivery, absolutely. Yeah. It's, absolutely. You know, it's also important to say we have our own fully functional mobile kitchen. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> like we have 
we have generators, we have burners, we have fires, we have tables. Yeah. We literally could pull up to your front yard and run a restaurant in your front yard if you really wanted us to. So, I mean, we're, 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 pre we're prepared for everything. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's pretty cool. Um, Not a game. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. We've been talking about the crab boil. We talked about what your the smoked turkeys again. Got to order those by eight tonight, right? And all the yeah, sides absolutely. by tomorrow. But um, what are some other big hits that you guys have uh, come across in these uh, in in your independent days after COVID stock started? Oh man, Genesis crab cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crab cakes uh, have taken off and gone. They've taken on a life of their own. Um, the French toast and, uh, chicken, uh, we did a couple brunches, um, that's gone crazy. Um, Eric makes these crazy chicken enchilada egg rolls. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, yeah. I kind of have, I kind of have a thing for egg rolls. My, one of my first kitchen jobs was working at Tex Wasabi's oh, gotcha. and, and I always would try to like. I didn't know shit from peanut butter. You know what I mean? Like I'm asking the chef, let me make something, let me make something. And the chef is like, if you want to make something, you get, I'll give you egg roll of the week. Cause we had an egg roll of the week on the menu. That he's like, awesome. he's that's like, awesome. so every week you, you give me a couple ideas for egg rolls and, and that's what you can create. So, I mean, dude, I was in there making chili cheese dog, egg rolls, chicken enchilada, egg rolls, uh, pastrami Reuben egg rolls. So I mean, I think uh, that's that's definitely going to be part of what we're doing, especially for pop ups. Yeah, you'll see some very uh, some very unique <laughs> uh, egg rolls yeah. coming coming out of any any pop ups that we're doing. You know, we're we're also aware of the uh, vegan vegetarian, so we'll be doing the, you know definitely in the keto friendly as well. Um, you know, we're definitely going to tap all markets. It might not be available every single day, but you know, we'll definitely be rolling out um, menus to fit gluten free. Yeah, we'll, we'll always you know, have that. we'll always have something for yeah something for everybody. So you know, we try to always have a vegan, a vegetarian, a gluten free. Even even if we're popping up on the side of a bar, you know, yeah, uh, we'll vegan, have something for yeah, you. Yeah, we'll have something for you. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Hey, um. Are we still good on time, guys? I know you're a hustler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, we're probably yeah. talking about like 10 more minutes. So um, I was going to ask you, you know, questions about sourcing and stuff. Do you guys have problems with that sort of thing at all? You know, being independents or is it all kind of cruising along for you? No, um, actually, some of the purveyors that were exclusive to um, uh, restaurants have now opened their doors to independents because there have been so many chefs that are not working in restaurants. So, you know, we've had, we've had good luck with that. And then um, we've built relationships with uh, vendors um, around town that we were able to tap into. Yeah, we're, we we're actually just talking about that earlier today because, you know, previously it didn't really make sense to have a relationship with a vendor doing small, smaller things. And as we get bigger, we're trying to, to, to get those connections back. You know, um, you're going to start, we're definitely going to be talking to, to uh jason levins at at alden's leafy greens very yeah. very soon jason i'll be coming for you very soon yes sir um yes, sir. you know we were, we were just, we were just talk, talking about getting a, you know just just calling scott rose too so we could source yeah most of our stuff through produce express instead yeah. of going shopping all around town <laughs> every day and then we're always we're always looking for uh you know if, if you're if you're um um, a vendor out there and you know you've got some a farm that you know needs a little love you know let's 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 talk about what you got going on and um we'll definitely be tapping the uh farmers market uh circuit oh, yeah. you know definitely. and um uh you know just tapping into the local uh the local folks around yeah that's great i mean talk about networking right breaking out into the farm yeah, man. absolutely that's yeah, man. all and that's what it's all about man everybody's everybody's stronger together there's 100%. as many as many people as we can as we can include as many people as we can help as, and vice versa you know they're helping us you right. know so it's there's plenty there's there's plenty of work out there there's plenty of stuff that, that you could be doing and it's not a uh, you Man, know, we're, that not, <laughs> we're not here we're not we're, we're not here Straight to, to up. That pot smells good. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, man. Rachel's out here uh, uh, talking about your crab boil. So, Rachel, if you're still watching out there, uh, Rachel Hutchins, 
Uh, oh, she's yeah. Hello. Of mine. She's an old student of mine. Uh, oh, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rachel, you're going to have to reach out to these guys, um, uh, either yeah. dining, uh, either Dennis Sendor or Eric Avila on Facebook, and they will hook you up with some of that crab oil if that's what you're, for sure, for if sure. you're smelling it through the through the computer. <laughs> I, yeah, think we got, I think we got. I think we got like one order left in that oh, box, potentially, potentially, potentially. But we'll we'll, we'll definitely have it uh, available again, like right after the holidays. It'll, yeah. you know, these crab bowls will be a staple. You know, the smoked pork pozole will be a staple, um, and then we'll be fluxing other things in and out. The crab cakes will be a staple. Keep your keep your keep your eye out for tamales. We're gonna Ooh. be trying to to sell tamales a lot Ooh. between us and uh and Louis Jimenez at Time yeah. Mama Salsa. Are you going to get a little funky with the tamales, like chili cheese tamales or chili dog tamales? Uh, not quite, but they're they're going to be, you know, our definite definite renegade smoked smoked proteins, you know, smoked smoked nice. chicken chile verde, yeah, uh, smoked smoked pork, you know, with red sauce. Yeah, Ro- you, you, roast, might, you might find a collard green and ham hock tamale pop up, Jay. Yeah, you like, don't, know. don't get it know. twisted. <laughs> don't get it twisted. I'm bringing the South to the Midwest right here to California. We're doing, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll, we'll, it, we'll, we'll definitely we don't we don't disrespect the traditions um, at all, but we definitely will definitely will be um, offering subtle variations to the traditionals, you know. And that might be it may, maybe that maybe that maybe that smoked ham hock collard green tamale might be on an intimate dining menu, you know. That, that you know it might it might cost you a little bit more, you know. Who knows? But I mean, you'll, it'll be available to you. <laughs> maybe it should cost a little more. <laughs> Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Because nobody else is doing it, right? So flat out, yeah. somebody's gonna do it next week. Now that we yeah, just said that, yeah, somebody's gonna have a collard green tamale out yeah. there. I, I never heard, week. I never heard of pork pasole, uh, smoked, smoked pork, pork pasole, pasole, but then uh, it happens. I it happens. Happen to see it. <laughs> some some restaurant within like thirty miles of here is is selling one all of a sudden, right. but uh, right. you know, right. I'm not gonna not gonna go there. I'll, I yeah. won't be that guy, but. <laughs> is a, a form of flattery, right? So, Boom, right, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we'll take all flattery. <laughs> so I'm looking at questions here. I don't see any big questions. Just a lot of positive comments, guys. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> man. Want some crab boil? Okay, I think they're going to be fighting for that last order of crab. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I mean, I got to double check. I got to. We got to double check. But I mean, I, I believe that we're uh, right there at the cat. But I mean, and we're going to the store tomorrow. So you know, um, I'll I'll shoot up the cash app um we're doing prepay only um you know just not taking any chances it's covid so you know what i mean no chances uh uh it's an expensive item so you know right now we're offering it at 50 dollars for pickup 60 dollars uh for delivery um we're going to the store again first thing in the morning is we have to get items for um you know our uh thanksgiving offerings so you know it's nothing to throw another pot on um you know yeah, uh absolutely. you know i would say you know for sure if you're interested in, in having a crab boil um, you know, hit us up no later than eight o'clock, say nine o'clock tonight. Actually, we'll be yeah, up to like man. 10 o'clock tonight, but you know, definitely have, <laughs> definitely have your money, have, have your money in tonight. Um, the, you know, eight o'clock in the morning, I'm at the stores. Yeah. We so, could, we could throw another pot on tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. you know, that'll be, tomorrow will be pickup only just because of our schedule. So, um, get at us, man. You know, we want to feed you for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the future, guys. I'm kind of winding down here because I know you guys yeah. are busy. You're hustling, hustle, yeah, hustle on 110, hustle. right? Absolutely. So, um, where do you guys see the future? Because COVID's going to end. Where, where, how are you guys going to kind of? Where are you going from there? How's it going to look in the future? Are you even <laughs> like, looking? Like I said, we, that, that might be for that might be for yeah. the next show. <laughs> now we, we 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 should have on shades for that, right? The old song, <laughs> "Future's So Bright," you got to wear shades, right? Um, no, 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 but but. But um, the future looks promising. Um, we've positioned ourselves um, to be able to come out of this better than we went in. Uh, my younger brother, Clarence Sidnor IV, shout out to him. Uh, you know, he calls the uh, COVID the great equalizer. Um, it has definitely given us an opportunity to use our talents to, to benefit, you know, ourselves. Um, and then, um, we're currently we're currently working on a project um, that could you know see the light of day here um, within days. Within days, you know we we you know fingers crossed and you know jumping brooms and doing whatever we got to do. Right, praying to God. Uh, yeah, not good, uh, but you know what I mean. Like we're, we're legit. The future the future looks great. The future looks great for us. You're feeling feeling better about things every day oh yeah oh yeah i was gonna say i just saw the pot start to boil back there i was gonna shout it out <laughs> yeah, right i mean you know hey listen 
go culinary school, right? So, uh, and then getting into the real world, you learn how to cook with your ears, with your nose, with your <laughs> eyes, right? You can't just sit there and watch a pot, right? So, you know, we're both just like <laughs> listening and you know what I mean? It's like when you're in the kitchen, right? You're, 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 you're doing everything from, from everywhere, right? Like Chef Santana Tia used to say, man, be a, be a bee, you know, pollinate, pollinate, be everywhere, right? So. I used to say, be a shark. You, you can yeah, never stop. Yeah, right, the, yeah, the yeah. Kitchen. And yeah. GBD, that was your term, bro. Well, GBD. That was it, man. Go to Brown. That was him, him and Chef Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, shout and, out to Kenny. Man, um, and I'm, I'm, I will not let this opportunity pass again, Chef Dave. Uh, seriously, you know, I want to thank you for it. I'm, I, I, I talked to you on the phone yesterday, and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm telling the story anyway. <laughs> um, Chef Dave saw something in me. Um, this was like the third, the second, second part of culinary school is a four or five part whatever it was right so the second part chef day goes grapes and gourmet grapes and gourmet event anyone that was in my class or the volunteers for grapes and gourmet event i apologize you're gonna get a little bit of inside scoop this guy goes hey i'm giving a raffle but when i call your name just be surprised and he goes bring your resume bring your resume grapes and gourmet event shop your resume around everybody i talked to every chef i could possibly talk to and then chef michael too i got i was like hey man i'll work for free just to get the opportunity, right? And he was like, so he was like, oh, you work for free, huh? He goes, uh, come come by Grange. Um, and so, you know, I just wanna thank you, Chef Nelson, for, um, you know, just believing in me enough and seeing something in me um, to help set me up for where I am today. Um, greatly appreciate your, the, the the humble nature that you have. And uh, again, I just, just I, I, thank, I thank you, brother. Oh, man, I, I get all choked up. That's why I don't like talking about this. <laughs> Let's be out of here. I'm not smoking all. Ah, come on, I'm supposed to have that. that it is what it is, Chef. It is, man. We're <laughs> humans. None, 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 of, none of us can be here without the, the people who got us here. You nah, know, man. If nah. I, you know, shout out to Kelly McCown, Mike Teeman, especially, especially Billy. <laughs> no, yeah. you know, if it wasn't for Billy, man, like that's that's, crew. that's crew is where that's. That's where I really, really, really learned to cook and really, really, really fell in love with cooking. You know, yeah. uh, Ravine Patel, mm -hmm. like all these guys, they've always been, they've always been supportive of, supportive of me, yeah. even when I didn't work work with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Dane Blom, of course. Right. You know, you, you can't. Uh, nah, I mean, I had, I chef, had Chef T again. Chef, chef T, is T right. Uh, and I had, uh, you know, Brad Checky busting my chops, you know, and Patrick Prager. Uh, you know, check your cannon and Prager over at the, the Kenton bad, the, and, the, the and young uh, Jonathan and Kachi over in uh, the pocket area. You know, like we had some, you know, we've had great you know, mentors, my, man. My, like, my, my, my boy, my brother from another mother, Adam Peckle. My oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the man himself. So Paul, Paul Rodriguez again. Like yeah. that. So we just, you know, we, we we're, we're appreciative of the of the people that have come before us. People Absolutely. that have, have um, you know, paved the way that have, you know knocked us on the knuckles and, you know, made us, you know, you know, humble ourselves, you know, uh, in the kitchen, realizing you come out of culinary school knowing just enough to get fired. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we, we <laughs> you know, not even know how to I'll tell you that too. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real, you know, just enough to get fired. And that's real talk. You come out, you better be right. humble because there's probably somebody next to you that's been working for 25 years that can teach you how to cut that onion a lot faster, you know, just shut your mouth grab a knife and put your head down, right? So we just, you know, we, again, we thank you for this opportunity, Chef, um, you know, seriously. I'm getting off for Klimt again, you know, talking <laughs> all these chefs. It's getting emotional, man. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's just, oh, I'm getting all misty out here, man. Guys, you got to get back to work, don't you? You got to hustle yeah, on. Absolutely. We yeah, better absolutely. say it again. If you guys want turkeys, so you nice people out there that are listening, if you want turkeys, you got to call these fellas. So oh, let's, or I'm sorry, not call, but get on that message. Oh, no, no, no. But I'm, but I'm turkeys putting my, are, I'm turkeys putting my cell phone number on Instagram. I'm putting it on yeah. cell phone numbers going there. This is a, this is a business phone. You know what I mean? So right. they could probably use uh, carrier pigeons or smoke signals and whatever. Right. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's get those orders in for these guys. Do you guys have anything else you want to shout out before we get going? I think we got almost everybody. <laughs> well, I got to thank you guys. That was a heck of a show. I enjoyed so much and I uh, have never got so many warm, fuzzy feelings talking to a couple of guys, my old students, man. This is so great. Yeah, man. It we'll sounds keep, like we'll, 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 we'll keep you posted on the moves, man. So yeah. we'll, get, we'll yeah. give you that exclusive when, uh, when we have, when we have the, some good news to share. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was 
uh, Dennis Sinor from Renegade Dining, and this is and that was Eric Avila from Renegade Dining as well. And my name is Dave Nelson, and we are here with industry cooking classes. And we just did another between two stoves interview, and I thought that went rather well, didn't that? Yeah, it did. Guys think, <laughs> right. I'm not upset uh, with so, that at all. Yeah, we better let these guys go, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to leave you with a few words of wisdom. Always, always be true to that food, and never, never forget that the party is always, always in the kitchen. I'm going to push that magic button and get you guys out of here. Take care, Thanks, everybody, man. and we'll oh, see you next time. Hustle on 110, baby. Cheers. Oh, you better believe it. Take care, guys. <laughs>